Oh, hey, hi, everybody. It's me, Beth. Guess what? I went back to the Dollar Tree today. Go figure. Um, went with my daughter, my grandson. We had a really good time. And I went back because I wanted to get a few more stick-on nails and some other stuff that I saw that I didn't pick up. So here I am, back again, sharing what, what I got with you. Oh, gosh, got to catch my breath. Sorry. Okay, so I went back, like I said, to get some more stick-on nails. So, and I've already done these since I got home. Uh, I said I was going to do it yesterday, but I ended up not doing it. Um, you know, they're a little girlish, but, you know, sparkly nails, kind of cute, like it. Got them done. There's those. Picked up all of these as well. These are the stick-on nails, and actually my daughter already tried to do these today when we got back. These are Pretty Woman Advanced Nail Care Salon Perfect Manicure in 5 Minutes. Well, the glue just wouldn't cooperate. So, that wouldn't work good. She's going to try to maybe get some of that super glue that you can get that says can be used on nails or whatever. And, you know, maybe do this again. So, but there's those. They're really pretty. They're, um, you got, you know, like a flower, sparkly, and some um, gems on there. Really cute. You know, I gotta do something about this glare. Hang on one minute. Okay, so I closed my um, shears over there. Hopefully that make a little bit of a difference. You know, this is basically the, really the only corner or the place where I have the most room and a table and a place to set things down to do this. So anyway, these went on, on really nicely and so far so good, we'll see. I also got, oh, and these are the, I believe, yeah, the Sassy and Cheek brand glitter nail strip and I got more I got these pink ones I got these blue I got these in a different brand the Essie brand I've heard that the Essie brand works better but um got these in a little lacy natural color And a couple more of the glitter ones. This one's more in the blue-purple family. And then red, which I plan to use for Christmas. I already know what I'm going to wear to that, to our Christmas, one of our Christmas parties. And I'm going to wear these with it. Got those. Alright, I got some more of the large ornaments. This one I found was different. It had, you know the different uh, design there with the sparkle, shiny, plain, and the sparkle. So I really like that one. And then I did go ahead and get some of the things from the floral section. We don't have a really big floral section. Oh, and the last time um, I was, the last one I did, the last haul I did, I was talking about the closest other city where there's another Dollar Tree, which isn't really as far as I said it was. I guess it's more like, you know, 15 to 20 miles. And there's another city nearby, Worcester, that also has a Dollar Tree. I haven't been to it, but my daughter has, and she says it's not really great. The one in Mansfield is better. In fact, there's two in Mansfield, so we're going to eventually get over there. But okay, anyway, I got some of these floral embellishments to put together some things for Christmas decorations. And, you know, the camera isn't doing this one justice. It is actually really pretty. You know, and it's, you know, got full a full stem here where you can spread them out or whatever. And then I got these that I thought looked very nice for, um, you know, for fake flowers. I got a whole handful of stuff here that's, they're kind of hard to, to handle because they're long stems and, and such. I got this long stemmed poinsettia. It's pretty. I got the sparkly gold one. Let's see. Got this berry stem in the red. 
These are looking really, you know, really nice. As artificial flowers go. I got these clip-on ones. The leaves and berries. Christmas house. These are, these are all by, by Christmas house. This is the smaller spray or arrangement of gold poinsettias. So there's several on a bunch there. Here's the red sparkly. You know, this stuff is so pretty. I can't wait to put together an arrangement. You know, they have some other ones there too. They're actually clip-on poinsettias and they're like about this big and there's white and I don't, I don't know for sure if they come in other colors, but my daughter uses them on like an outdoor tree that she puts on her front patio. I mean front porch. And those are just, they are just really, really pretty. They look good and I didn't get any of those, but just to let you know, they have them there. They're so nice. And here's a red one, just a kind of a plain red, long stem. And then a red sparkly long stem. I dropped the bag. And then I got the spray of silver poinsettias, multiple poinsettias for my, you know, whole silver and gold thing I got going on. I might add these to my swag. That that might be really pretty. Okay. I didn't get a lot this time. It's not going to be nearly as long as before. But I did see these. I thought, you know what? This is kind of cute. Um, it's a magnetic picture frame. And it's got Mickey Clubhouse, Mickey Mouse characters on it. Let's see. It holds a 4 by 6 and it's a, you know, actual Disney product, so that was cute. Nice that you can put on your refrigerator or wherever a magnet will stick as you please. I picked up two more of these. I have four grandsons. I might as well have four frames that match so I can put them all together in a display and get all their pictures. So, two more of those. I found these cute little puzzles. I thought these were great for like stocking stuffers. And like um, the kids have been wanting to do puzzles lately. I'm a puzzle doer, so um, they saw some of my puzzles and said, I want to do a puzzle. So I thought these were really cute because they are in um, smaller, I mean bigger, you know, bigger pieces, a less amount. This one's actually 48, so it is for someone a little older, but, and the characters too, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so that's great. That'll be for my older grandson. Then, the, another one with the 48 pieces, Minions. Very good. And then... Oh my gosh, there's more than I thought. I picked up some more of the large ornaments. It's glowing with the lighting I got here, but you know, like I said, this is the matte, the matte red looking one. It's it's really so pretty. And let me change this. Let me change this. Let's see. Didn't help anyway. You can't tell from the glare. And, you know, hopefully, maybe you guys can give me some input and stuff about how to work with lighting and things. But, yeah, you know, I love those large ornaments, so I had to get more. This is something, you know, I decided, I saw it the other day. I ended up not getting it. And then when I went back today, I'm like, I am going to get that because I've always used one. I bought one from Mary Kay. If you watch my, I actually did a contouring makeup video and I did it for people like me who aren't good at doing makeup and doing hair and stuff. And it was real quick and, and I thought pretty simple. I don't have a lot of views on that video. So if you get a chance, please go check it out because I'm not a makeup artist at all. And in fact, I struggle with doing hair and makeup and things like that girly things that I like, but I can't do them. So you might enjoy watching that because I was so impressed after having done it. 
Um, and again, like in my video, my camera wasn't the best, but you get the idea and it just really turned out nice. So anyway, when I put on my mascara, I like to use these little uh, mascara combs. And it's got a little brush for the eyebrows, which I don't really need, but for people who have those great eyebrows, they could brush them in different directions and stuff, that'd be cool. But, you know, for a buck, I got one of these from Mary Kay, and I guarantee you it was ten times that much. Um, but I do. I love combing through my lashes after I put on my, my mascara. It gets out any, like, clumpy areas, and it separates the lashes. So, those for a dollar. Really good. All right, so I'm going to kind of let the cat out of the bag here. I haven't mentioned this before, and I know that I'm in the same boat with many other people and other YouTubers, Dollar Tree haulers that I watch and subscribe to, but I do have type 2 diabetes. I was just diagnosed with this in August. And I'm hoping as time goes on and you see me moving along through this process and doing these more Dollar Tree hauls and stuff, you will see me changing because I have taken a strong stance, not doing as much exercise as I should be doing. In fact, I'm not really doing any, but I tell you what, um, you know, I, I hate to drag this out and go into it, but over six months ago, I was in pretty bad shape. I was not getting around well, I didn't want to get out of the house, didn't want to do anything, did not feel good at all. And I'm not that kind of person. Like, I told my husband every day, I just don't feel good. I don't know, you know? And I was worried and everything, so finally, you know, I went to the doctor, did all the right things, had the tests, and we finally got to the bottom of it. The majority of my problem is, I, I have type 2 diabetes. My sugars were way up there in the 400s. And geez, no wonder I was feeling terrible. So fortunately, fortunately for me, I'm taking a oral medication. It's working great. I'm going to continue to do to do that, of course. Um, and you know, everything's going really well. I've been losing weight consistently, so I'm going to keep working at that. And hopefully, you'll see me, you know, progress along as I continue these videos. So, okay, sorry, gonna quit boring you with all that stuff, but you know, part of doing this is, I, what I enjoy is getting to know the people that we're sharing this with and letting you get to know me. So, anyway, one of my favorite things that, you know, I probably can't really have that much of anymore is the trolleys. The sour bites with the sugary coating, you know. Not really great, but if you know about diabetes, you know you have to watch your carbs. Carbohydrates in this one serving is 12 pieces. It's 30 grams. So if I decided that that's what I wanted to have for my snack one day, I could have six pieces. And I could enjoy that for my snack. You know, um, when, it, when you do have diabetes, you can eat all the normal things. You just have to watch how much of it you eat. Okay, watch your carbs so my really camera stopped. I, I think it was overloaded with videos and pictures and okay, stuff. So Hopefully this will keep running and I can finish this up real quick. I just saw these. I uh, got me some hairspray. I wanted to try different kinds because, you know, just whatever. Not too thrilled. <laughs> anyway, I saw these little army helmets. For two of my grandsons, I think they'll really enjoy them. I thought they were really cute. So I picked those up. And then I got them the army men to go with it. There's this one and then there's a there's another one in the like the tan color. I don't know where it's at. Oh right there. Okay, here we go. There they are, the tan army men. I did pick up a green tin bucket. They were out of the red. I kind of wanted some red ones, but okay. That's what I'm gonna use some of those fake flowers for. I'll put them in this. I got more of my styrofoam balls for my silver and gold project. Two more of the puzzles. These are the ones with the 24 pieces. So those are great. Mickey, Donald, Pluto. And then this one's 
same characters, only the puzzle is slightly different, but 24 pieces. Oh, I got some corn nuts for my husband. I don't know if he likes them. I always did like them, so maybe he will. And I think this is the last thing. I did pick up one of the one of the little scarves with the snowman motif. I guess a, a lot of people are using these on wreaths and things like that, but I'm gonna wear mine. I'm gonna wear it at Christmas time. So that's the things I got today. Um, our Dollar Tree has this coming up on November 22nd, so I will be going back on that day. And it's this uh, okay, customer so I don't know appreciation. If it's Dollar Tree's all over the place, but I wanted to just do this final thing. Um, my customer appreciation day is on November 22nd, 10% off of your entire order of $10 or more. So I plan to go back that day. All right, that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to touch base with you and show you the cool things I got today. And I'll be seeing you soon. Peace.